Bugs, y'all. What's going on? It's Corner Sports Net. I see that Florida A&M had their pro day. And 30 teams showed up. And two CFL teams. Yeah, they had a Canadian Football League teams at Florida representing, looking at that Florida A&M talent. But it's crazy. Deion Sanders speaks up. Talk about I'm calling out names of teams that didn't show up at the pro day. And a week later, you got 30 NFL teams at Florida A&M's pro day. 30. I wish somebody else would speak up on the behalf of um, HBCU football like Deion Sanders does. Now, he don't get all the credit for 30 teams being at Florida A&M, but he gets some credit. 30 NFL teams, that's almost the entire NFL. Let's not forget that Coach Simmons had some problems before scheduling pro, uh, pro days, having people actually attend. So the 2022 Florida AM Pro Day was a big success. We had Keenan Forbes, Lyman, did 225, 25 times. We had Marquise Bell looking like the NFL ready. Right now, today, he did 225, 15 times. And he looked good in the drills. He did all the drills. He was explosive. His quickness was crazy. Showed he had hands. So if a quarterback just locks in on one receiver, Marquise Bell going to pick that pass off. He's going to pick that pass off and take it to the house. He's that talented. Now, I don't know what round Marquise Bell is going to get drafted in, but he's going to be the first Florida A&M player to get drafted since 1988. Now, all draft-eligible players at Florida A&M took part in the pro day. All these guys are going to get a shot by the league. And like I said, Bell's going to get drafted. Forbes is probably going to get drafted seventh round, maybe. More than likely, he'll be an undrafted free agent. But they'll be in somebody's camp. But you went from last week when JSU had a multi-team pro day with 22, 24 scouts, something like that. 22 NFL teams showed up. A week later, you had 30 NFL teams show up at Florida a and I just wish somebody else would speak up besides um, Coach Prime for HBCU sports and football and everything HBCU related. But it was a great day at Florida A&M. I'm going to talk to you guys later. It's Corner Sports Net.